This problem asks you to write out in full the electronic configurations of a number of species. A couple of neutral atoms, potassium K and bromine Br, and a couple of ions, calcium 2 plus and sulfur 2 minus. Now recall that in order of filling the orbitals available for electrons in multi-electron atoms, that order is 1s is less than 2s is less than 2p is less than 3s is less than 3p and here comes the break. Remember that 4s fills before 4d. The number of electrons that you can accommodate in these orbitals is given, of course, by the L quantum number and the possible values of m sub L and m sub S associated with those quantum numbers. So we can put up to two electrons in an S orbital, six in a P orbital, and 10 in a d orbital. This problem does not involve orbitals beyond 4d, but if we were to go to an f orbital, that would require up to 14 electrons. So now let's look at the individual species. And the first thing we need to do is to look at the atomic number. That is our basis. z equals 19. That's from the chart, the atomic mass and atomic number chart, the periodic table in effect. So the number of electrons we have to accommodate is 19. So we simply start filling the orbitals in order of increasing energy, putting as many electrons as possible in those orbitals until we have reached the number 19. And we see that that is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So far we have 10 electrons. 3s2, 3p6. So far we have 18 electrons. And then 4s1. Note, we are not starting to fill the, the 3d orbital as yet. It's the, three, the 4s fills before the 3d. Notice something else. This atom, potassium, has an electronic configuration that represents a set of completely filled subshells and one electron in an s orbital beyond those subshells. Elements of this type fall into group 1a or group 1 in the periodic table. They are alkali metals. The ns1 electron configuration is what makes them alkali metals. That extra electron is easily lost to make an iron potassium plus. Another way of writing this, which is sometimes used, looks like this. The electronic configuration of argon, which has 18 electrons, is followed by 4s1. That doesn't mean potassium is argon with an electron added, because potassium has a different nucleus. But sometimes, for convenience and shortness, we may use this shorthand notation of how to write an electronic configuration. Now let's go to the next neutral atom, bromine. Bromine has 35 electrons, and we follow the same scheme. 
1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and now 3d10. 2, 4, 10, 12, 18, 20, 30 electrons. We have five more to put into the electronic configuration of bromine, and now we start filling the 4p set of orbitals. The next one after 3d is 4p. We come back to the quantum number n equals 4, which could hold up to six electrons. Notice the elements which have P5 beyond a closed shell are all the halogen elements, those in the group 7A or 17 on the periodic chart. Now, let's go to the two ions included in this list, calcium 2 plus. The atomic number for calcium is 20. But since we're looking at an ion, the number of electrons that we need to dispose of is 20 minus 2. The minus 2 coming from the 2 plus charge. Hence, the electronic configuration has only 18 electrons. And the equivalent electronic configuration is, as we have seen, that of a noble gas, of argon. That's why the ion that calcium prefers to make is the 2 plus ion. It's lost both its electrons in that uh, extra s orbital. It's come to the electronic configuration of a noble gas, which is a very stable electronic configuration. And the next ionic example, S2 minus, is strikingly similar. Sulfur has an atomic number of 18. Therefore, the number of electrons, sorry, has an atomic number of 16. The number of electrons we need to cope with is 16 plus 2. Plus 2 because we've added two electrons to the neutral sulfur atom to make the sulfide anion, S2 minus. The electronic configuration then looks strikingly familiar. It is the same as that of calcium 2 plus. It is also the argon electronic configuration. To summarize, we can now understand why when calcium reacts with sulfur, it produces calcium sulfide, Ca2 plus, S2 minus. The transfer of two electrons from calcium to sulfur, that is the reduction of sulfur and the oxidation of calcium, produces a stable compound in which both ions have a noble gas configuration.